I am no longer just a pretty face around here. I am no longer just a beautiful voice around here. Because whether you people like it or not, I am the Creator Pro TV champion. Chris Statlander. You know, Chris, it was nice enough of you to stop kissing VSK's ass long enough to actually join us and defend your title. So what I'm gonna do lastly is put everybody on notice. I'm going to put all the people watching at home. I'm gonna put this idiotic cameraman. I'm gonna put the powers that be here on notice. What Eric James knew all along, that this is just the tip of the iceberg. Welcome to the Eric James Show. Buckle up. TV. My name is Julia Rose. We have a very exciting evening planned for you. First, I'm going to be interviewing the Shook crew. Then the new Cap TV champion, Eric James, is going to be speaking. And finally, we have a match between Mark, Mark Sterling and the new challenger, Philip Cardigan. Let's get it going. Mark, how's it going? Hey, it's, your your match? it's the onesie bathroom. Do you not? I'm though. Right, well, I'm glad to hear. Here's the deal. Tonight, yeah, we're not going to need you out there. But okay, I have a big announcement, Ooh. so I want you guys That's ready exciting. for that big announcement. But I got to go get my wrist tape on. You got to help nice. me put these straps up. I can do that. Let's go. All you, baby. All yeah, you. yeah, I love that job. This is we're literally the best. We're the best. I'll be listening too. Bobby, we're we're so glad to have you here. The Cap TV universe has heard that you were recently hospitalized. How are you doing? Um, Bobby Orlando did not plan to start 2020 like this. No. I don't think anyone really expected it. No. Out of nowhere thing. Uh, I had appendicitis. Mm. Um, got rushed to the ER, appendectomy. I'm doing good now, but although I'm not physically hurting, I'm mentally, mentally and emotionally hurting. Most oh, because I can't. Mentally and emotionally <laughs> hurting. Hey, hey, is oh, your tummy hurt? Oh, is your tummy hurt? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Well, I'm gonna help you out. Max is hurt. Bobby's hurt. And I'm gonna do something for you that you just couldn't do on your own. I'm gonna help you fit in. Because next week, those titles are still on the line. You got two options. You can either find a friend. Wait! Everybody knows the shoot crew doesn't have any other friends besides their little circle. <laughs> you guys are not nice. social. Crazy, 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 crazy. Shut up! Oh. Shut up! Oh, he's pissed. Why do they always say that? It's all right, get back here. You want me to find a partner next week? Not really. <laughs> See you next week. Yeah, you watch it, Bryce! You walk! You walk, you two, Bobby! Push you in the gut! Push you in the gut! Yo, 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 Cap TV, what's going on? It's Eric James. It's the throwback. It's the one-man boy band. Hell, lately I've been called Lana's first husband. But at the end of that all, I'm the Creator Pro TV champion. And on February 1st, I defend this championship for the very first time in Limbrook against AEW superstar Orange Cassidy. But right now, we're in my hometown of Flushing, Queens, New York, baby. Am I right? Yeah. They get it. She yeah. gets it. But no, I'm not at the recording studio. I am at my local supermarket. And we're going to find out exactly what my locals think of the orange. Follow me. <laughs> Guys, Eric James, Free to Pro TV champion, throwback. Listen, I got a few questions for you guys. You guys mind answering some questions for me? Mind if I ask you a few questions, Cat TV champ, Eric James, yada yada, you know the spiel. Oh, that's an easy decision. Listen, Creator Pro TV champion here, Eric James, you know the whole. Worst flavor of Starburst in this pack? Orange. Would you rather date someone named Orange Cassidy or Blue Meanie? Blue Meanie.
Exactly. Would you rather date someone named Orange Cassidy or Amazing Red? Amazing Red. Would you rather date a guy named Orange Cassidy or Black Cheese? Black Cheese. Dude, what the f Why is it that you think there was no orange Power Ranger? Hey man, I just want this lemonade. You know the orange is too hot, right? Why do you think that the least liked Ninja Turtle wore the orange headband? Yo, I'm sending up the oranges! No, you get it, right? You, exactly. Exactly. He gets it. You get it? You get it. Flushing, baby. Excuse me. Everybody. Uh, oranges suck. He found it. Found it. All right, I gotta watch mine. What are you talking about? Come on, you gotta go. Come on. I'm a flushing native, dude. Bro, I'm not. flushing. I'm, I'm I am the cap TV champion. You can't treat a champion like that. Dude, you can't. Go, 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 go. Just go, just go, just get out of here. This guy's watching. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. First, to my right, weighing in at number one in our hearts, straight from the cubicle, Philip Cardigan. And his opponent, from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 199.333 repeating, he is Smart Mark Sterling. Here we are back live on Cap TV. We got Phil Cardigan making his Cap TV debut. You might remember Cardigan. He took a nasty fall, gashed his head open. He's got a Frankenstein scar on his head, and he's been a different man ever since. Well, he's lived a more reserved life, and look, now, you know, he's a guy who stretches his quads and stretches his hip flexors before he wrestles. It's very important, very important to have knee pads outside the khakis. Well, you do have to protect your knees. It is very logical. Oh, he's got sanitizer. That's a good idea. Smart Mark is dirty. Yeah. He's never washed his singlet. It's always good practice to wash your hands when you get home and in the ring. Okay, all right. He's very moist at this moment. Great. Oh, and the winner, you got to make sure. Oh! And Smart Mark just kicked the sanitizer plus moisturizer out of the ring. Yeah, and, and Phil Cardigan letting out an emphatic, hey there, buddy. Oh, he's got to tie his shoe. Phil, the good. Tie your shoes! Tie your shoes! Tie your shoes! Phil Cardigan. Oh, no! Mark, they get Phil a backdrop. Cardigan just backdrop Mark Sterling. I don't think he meant to. He's still checking his shoes. Oh, oh okay. Well, now I think uh, the tone has changed here. Smart Mark Sterling is not about the jokes and the games. He's all business in the ring. Oh, he's tying his shoe again. He's got. He's got to tie his shoe. All right, yeah, Phil, a very smart wrestler. Doesn't want to take any damage here. And a, a poor showing of sportsmanship by Mark Sterling here. Phil Cardigan just, and he's lost his glasses now. No. Oh, oh. And Mark, Mark's setting himself up to get hot shot over, over the top cable. And Phil, Phil's just cleaning his glasses. Mark Sterling, he is completely off his game right now. Seemingly without trying, Phil Cardigan is... He's taking down Mark Sterling. All right, well, now he takes his glasses off after. Okay, now Phil's ready. Oh, no! Okay. All right, well, smart Mark now. Is Cardigan still looking. 
to have a fair fight with Smart Mark, but yes. Smart Mark Sterling is not having any of it. He is pissed off now. And Phil Cardigan is... No, he's not going to get it. We're going to have a backslide. This could be it right here. Oh. Two and a kick out. Again, Phil Cardigan with a roll-up. Two. Not there either. Great fundamentals by Phil Cardigan. Oh, he's got him now. One, two, three, three, two. It Only was two. two. Now, Philip Cardigan with a, a nice arm bar there. Textbook apply. Locked in deep, and you see Cardigan, he's got the knee pushing down on the shoulder. The elbow and the shoulder being worked on right now. And, uh, Smart Mark looking for a clean break here. One, two, three. Oh! That looked extremely dangerous. Phil, Phil Cardigan. Nice. Smart Mark, oh my goodness. I couldn't see from our vantage point, Max Gasser, but it looked like Cardigan's neck snapped. This could be, no, it's a two. Looked like Phil Cardigan's neck snapped on that top rope. And you always have to wonder about the brain health and the head health of Phil Cardigan after taking that nasty fall a few months ago. It's changed his life. Some say for the better, but this is still a dangerous sport. It's a dangerous sport. And oh, look at the power of Smart Mark Sterling holding him up there. And the greatest he, stalling suplex of all time. He might not be moisturized, but he is strong and he is ready to take down Phil Cardigan too. Mark definitely not moisturized. He's very ashy. Oh, I'm sorry. That's just his hair. Wow. Amazing. And a snapmare. Not necessary to the city. It might have been Snapmare Village right there, right into the headlock. Snapmare Township, possibly. Phil yeah. Cardigan trying to fight his way up and out of this chin lock, and he's done so. Well, oh, Smart Mark. Cardigan with that unorthodox offense. Smart Mark able to reverse. And oh, into the fallaway slam. Smart Mark's a strong boy. Is this it? A uh, two. Oh, no. Referee not able to get there. And Phil Cardigan able to kick out. So even when Phil gets an opening and an opportunity, it seems like he doesn't necessarily want to fight. He doesn't want to instigate violence. That's the nature of a Phil Cardigan. Well, we have seen his offense, the backside, the small package, the cover. Not too much shots to the face. And Smart Mark, the complete opposite. He will stomp your teeth down your throat if you let him. Bill Cardigan came to the ring with that travel mug of coffee, maybe. And it looks like we're going for a repeat. No, a reversal. Phil Cardigan able to get out of it. Oh, and oh, there we go. have a standoff. Well, Smart Mark is guarding against that, that mug of coffee there, playing some expert defense, looking like Ben Wallace. Mark throws Philip off. Phil, oh! <laughs> And Cardigan going for it. He can't reach it. It's just out of his grasp. Oh, oh kicks him off. Does he have and it? he's got it. Phil Cardigan. Oh, no. Now, Smart Mark not putting Phil in a position to where he can drink his coffee. No, Mark. And he's got it. Don't he's let him got do the it. Coffee. Oh, no. Oh. Insecurity. Insecurity right to the chin. Cardigan has a house on fire. Oh, he's unstoppable. He's got caffeine in his system. He's palm striking. He's back elbowing. A floor. Smart Mark's down. What a change. What a difference the coffee makes. He is caffeinated and he's ready to roll. Look at this. Athleticism. Yeah, neckbreaker. This could be it. Cardigan upset. One, two, and oh. no. Only a two. Almost a three. Philip Cardigan is on a roll here. I think that's what he has with his coffee usually, a roll. Funny enough. Now stalking Smart Mark for something. What's it going to be? He's looking to end it now before he hits that three o'clock crash. Rolling. Looking for that. Oh, reverse into the spine buster. Smart Mark Sterling with the victory. No. Only two, Philip Cardigan staying in it. Showing a lot of heart, a lot of guts. 
a lot of caffeine in his system still, supposedly. You see that chest butt beating up and down, the caffeine flowing, but can it survive? A pile driver from Smart, no! Reversed by Cardigan, this could be his chance. This is his shot right now. If he hits something here, it could be over. Rolling, DDT, DDT. It's over. He is not gonna kick out of this. Two and oh, the foot on the rope. I saw it too, Steve. Don't worry. You don't have to tell me. Steve, he did not Steve. kick out. Smart Mark able to get the foot on the rope though. Maybe Smart Mark needs some coffee. It looks like he's about out of energy. Is uh, Philip Cardigan drinking more? Oh, he's got His more. second cup of coffee. Oh, is it is, too much coffee? It's dangerous. He could be getting dehydrated from all the coffee. Oh, no, Smart Mark, no. Right to the eyes. I think referee. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. A low blow. Marky. What a turn of Here's event. your winner, Smart Mark Sterling. Smart Mark to the Mark eyes. Sterling. Oh, accidental shot to the referee, and then the just a low down, dirty low blow. Smart Mark Sterling picks up the win. Yeah, all right, all right. And a look. Looks like Smart Mark's gonna be joined in the ring. Smart Mark, congratulations on your win right now. Um, what, what do you have to say? I got a big announcement to make. First of all, if you guys have been watching Cap TV lately, anarchy rules. We have people wrestling in two-on-one -on -one matches. That's ridiculous. So I've decided, as the smartest professional wrestler in the world today, that I am now the power here at Creative Pro. What? I make the matches. I'm the general manager. I'm the head honcho. I'm the boss. I don't know who decided that, but it looks like Pat Fitzpatrick didn't decide it. Oh, come oh. on. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for representing us and I'm sure everybody else here. Who well, says, uh, who makes just smart marks finished. the boss? All right, all right, calm down. I know it's best to come down, come down. Here comes the inspirational Pat Fitzpatrick. So inspirational. All right, listen. Okay. You fought next to George Washington in the Civil War. <laughs> Damn how right. would you? How would he feel yeah. if you came out here like a dictator, just dictating your policies like this? Like, you're just now the general manager. Who says? The, the electoral college. <laughs> I may have not won the fair battle, but the fair battle. Hey. The fair battle. I'm in charge. Why don't we have a fair battle? You know, better yet, why don't we just ask the people by noise? Do we want to let Mark just become the general manager, or, or do we want an election? So. Why don't you make some noise if you want Mark to dictate? No! no. That was so Boom. loud! That was some noise. That was some noise. All right. Why don't you make some noise if you want, right here on Cap TV, over the next couple of weeks, we go on a campaign, we say our policies. Who am I running against? Running against me. What? Oh, no! Ladies and gentlemen, Election! 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 We're going to have an election! Well, well, we see who's got the popular vote. Well, as my first demonstration of my intuition, I'm not sure if you can count because there's one of you and there's three of us. Steve, come out here! Steve, I said... Patrick. Oh, Even Steven. Stevens looked like they were late for their queue. Where were they? Always late, those Even Stevens. Oh my gosh. Guarantee you that was Somerset's fault. Smart Mark looks like an idiot. Pat Fitzpatrick now backstepping his way out of the arena. Oh, Mark well, you know upset. what? It looks like, Max Caster, we're going to have an election. Yes. And right now, I know who has my vote.
Thank you for joining us on CAP TV. Next week, we'll be covering the election for the new general manager, and we'll be seeing a tag team championship defended. Who will Bryce Donovan pick to be his new partner? It's all here next week, right on CAP TV. All right, Bobby, I got one week to find a partner. You got uh, this, you got yeah, this. Yeah, okay. We got uh, uh, Jason Rumble. Not your crew type. No, no. Uh, uh, Big Don. No. no okay. Uh, uh, Donnie the Pitbull. Oh, I think Donnie the Pitbull. Uh, oh, really? Uh, Rip Donnie. That's not good. Rest, rest in peace. Uh, I don't know. If we, I don't know. What, I have an idea. How about this guy? What guy? <laughs> so. No. Okay, go. And then Bryce. Uh, Jesus. I don't really know what to tell you. I mean, I trust your instinct, but this is getting... We're starting to get down to the, the nitty gritty here. Who's gonna be the part? I don't know. <sighs>